here's how you can record data for this friction lab. You will need a LabQuest device hooked up to a force sensor. If your force sensor is reading anything but zero, please zero it before you begin. Click on your screen and click zero. It should then read zero. We are now calibrated to perform our experiment. The goal is to move this brick along this path until we get to the end of the board. You wanna record, click on play, and it will record your data for 10 seconds. And then I will show you how to analyze the data off the lab quest. Start pulling the brick, pull it at a constant speed until you get to the end. Click on stop, and there is my graph that shows the force that it took to initiate movement and to keep it moving at a steady, uh, steady speed. The next thing you will do is analyze your data. To analyze the data, we first wanna highlight the section of the graph that we want to analyze. So I wanna analyze this first part of the graph because that's the force that it took to get this thing to move. So I click on analyze and then I go to statistics and click force and it gives me my maximum value. The maximum value was 8.37 Newtons. That's the amount of force it took to get that brick moving. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the rest of the graph where it was moving at a relatively constant speed. So I wanna go do the same thing, click on analyze statistics, select force, and now I wanna look at the mean value. So this is the average force it took to keep this thing sliding to overcome sliding friction. So the answer for this is 7.28 Newtons. So again, analyze, select force, and you wanna use the statistics as a way to measure how much force it took to keep that thing in motion. Good luck.